Let's learn some awesome harmonica riffs on a C harmonica. The original recordings might not be in C, but we'll talk about that later. Our first riff is Hoochie Coochie Man being played here by Sugar Blue. Okay, so this is going to start on the offbeat after beat three. Uh, and we're going to play a one draw. So we've got one, two, three. Okay, and then we've got a, a little triplet starting on beat four. Uh, this, this one's quite tough because you've got to be quite fast and you're going straight into a bend, but you're playing two draw whole step bend, one draw, two draw whole step bend. And then on beat one of the next bar, we're hitting the two draw. So that's one, two, three. Okay, let's try that a couple of times together. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, excellent work. Our next riff is going to be the war classic Low Rider, featuring the awesome Lee Oscar. Okay, so we're going to break this riff into two halves. So our first half is the Okay, so what we're doing is we are hitting that clean three draw. We're hitting it uh, nice and staccato. So you're going to articulate it. I'm going to play that on beats one and two and three as eighth notes. And then on the offbeat after beat three, we're going to nip up to the four blow. And then you're going to have a half beat rest on beat four and then hit the four draw on the offbeat. Okay, and then we uh, are going to play the second half of the riff, which sounds like this. One, two. Okay, so that starts on the offbeat after beat two. We're playing eighth notes, two draw, three draw, and then four blow. And then we have a half beat rest on beat four. Then we hit the three draw on the offbeat. And then to draw on the next offbeat. So really make sure that you play those notes on the offbeat and not on the beat. Most people tend to kind of merge back onto the beat kind of naturally. You want to keep it on the offbeat, keep it syncopated, uh, and that's why it sounds so cool and groovy. So let's try putting both halves together. And we're starting on beat one with the first half of the lick. One, two, three, four. And again. Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four. Our next riff is going to be Adam Gusso's take on Crossroads by Robert Johnson. Uh, okay, so our, our main move here is going to be the... Okay, so we'll, we'll get, get that dialed in. So you're going to need to be able to play tongue splits for this. So we're starting on beat one with a two draw. And then we're jumping up to the three six blow octave on the offbeat. Then we hit a two five draw octave. Then a three six blow again. So that's... Okay. So work on that move, because that, that's the, the whole of this riff is all about getting those tongue splits nice and clean and smooth. Uh, and then we're going to repeat that move 
uh, on the offbeat after beat three. Two, five, three, six, two, five. So that's. Okay. And then the ending of the, of the licks can be different each time. We're going to play three draw, uh, half step bend with a little bit of the four draw bleeding into it, a little double stop. And then we start again. And there we don't play the second half of the octaves, we play. So that's starting off on the offbeat after beat three, four draw half step bend, four draw. And then on beat four, we have a, a little rundown, four draw half step bend, three draw half step bend, two draw. Okay, so that's. Okay, so first half. Second half. Let's try putting both halves together. One, two, three, four. And again, two, three, four. One more time, two, three, four. Okay, excellent. The next riff is one of the absolute best improv licks to get started with. It's a great lick to use in any of your blues harmonica solos. It's well worth learning and it sounds like this. Okay, so let's look at how to play this awesome improv lick. I don't know where it comes from. I've heard it in so many places. Uh, I think the most memorable is, is uh, John Gindick. I think, I think he calls it his good, good morning riff. Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, you hear it everywhere. It's a really good lick to build into your blues solos, especially when you're just starting out with improv. Um, so we're going to be starting on the offbeat after beat three, and we're going to be playing just a sequence of eighth notes. So we've got two draw, three draw, four blow, and then on beat one of the next bar, we're going to hit four draw, four draw. So that's one, two, three. And we're articulating those doubled up four draws just so that they pop. One, two, three. So you can hold it or you can cut it short. One, two, three. You could play that three draw as a three draw half step bend instead. One, two, three. Make it a little bit more bluesy. You could play it as a double stop. One, two, three. The possibilities are endless. I'm now going to teach you one of my all time favorite harp riffs, which is Have a Good Time by Big Walter Horton. Okay, so I, I have to be completely honest here. This little triplet at the beginning of this riff took me months to get up to speed. Uh, so that little... That took a while. So we'll slow it right down. I'll get you to work on it slowly. Uh, and then hopefully you'll build up the speed gradually and get it up to, to full speed. So what we're playing is three draw, four draw, five blow. So if you imagine you're playing the major pentatonic scale, starting on the three draw uh, in second position, so you're going up through the scale uh, from that note, um, and you're going to gradually build up the speed until it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to play six blow on beat one, five draw on beat two, four draw on beat three. So you might have to start really slowly. So 
So we'll do that a couple of times slowly, and then we'll try it fast just at the end. So remember, we're starting on beat four. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. One more time slowly. One, two, three. Okay, now let's try it up to speed. A one, two, three. Okay, take your time, build up the speed gradually, and uh, I know you'll get there. You can download the tab for these riffs by clicking the link in the description below. And thank you so, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, uh, as it'll help this video to be seen by more people. And now you can check out my uh, lesson on seven easy blues harmonica licks by clicking up here. All right, happy harping.